So Joe Biden uh, and the Democrats got a little bit of a wake up call in the form of a new poll that I'm going to show you now. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is in Business Insider. They say student loan forgiveness could lure nearly half of Americans in key battleground states to vote in November, survey says. A new poll suggests student loan relief might help voter turnout in November's midterm elections. Data for Progress in collaboration with RISE, a higher education advocacy group, conducted a survey obtained exclusively by Insider of 2066 likely voters in the battleground states Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin, all of which flipped from former President Donald Trump to President Joe Biden in the 2020 presidential election. Respondents were polled on how likely they would be to vote in the November general election should Biden implement a range of policy measures related to student debt, and have found that 45% of them would be somewhat or much more likely to vote if Biden cancels $10,000 in student debt for every federal borrower, which he pledged to do on the campaign trail. Additionally, 46% of respondents also said they would be likelier to go to the polls if Biden were to cancel $50,000 in student debt for every federal borrower, an amount many progressive Aggressive lawmakers have been pushing for. Over one third of respondents said another motivating factor to vote would come from a further extension of the pause on student loan payments through the end of the year. Okay, so if they're going to do anything, and that's a big if, uh, they would probably just do that, extend the pause. Um, I think it's either that or maybe ten thousand dollars of elimination or nothing. That's way more likely than the fifty thousand, and that's way more likely than just totally abolishing it, which is what should be done. That that debt slate should be totally wiped clean. Um, and there's, by the way, there was a number of times on the campaign trail and elsewhere where Joe Biden has gone as far as to say, I'm going to get rid of your student debt. Sometimes when he gives more specific, that number comes down, either 10 or 50,000, but he's done Dickie McGee's acts. He's only done it for like, you know, I forget the specifics, but maybe one time it was like uh, veterans who have over a certain amount of money in debt or disabled people or people who were scammed by for-profit universities. But it's a very, it's a tiny percentage of the people who actually have student loan debt who've gotten any action on it whatsoever. But this poll makes very clear, Democrats are much more likely to have a prayer in the midterms if Biden delivers on this. Now, why is this so important? It's important because it verifies everything we've been saying on this show all along, which is politics is not rocket science. If you want to win, you have to do things that materially improve the lives of the voters and the constituents and the American people. Duh, duh. But I'm not kidding when I say in D.C., they, they don't believe that. They don't believe that at all. Their conventional wisdom is the polar opposite. They say, if anything, Biden's been too aggressive and he's gone too far with a lot of these programs and what people want is deficit reduction and smaller government and they want you to be more centrist and more moderate and you're shooting yourself in the foot by being too bold. This is genuinely what they believe. All of the evidence flies in the face of that. When was Joe Biden his most popular? You guys remember? When he cut $1,400 checks to the American people. His approval rating was 54% when he did that. Then the longer he's gone without doing things that materially improve lives, the more that approval rating just plummets. It plummets. One poll had him at like 38%. You know, I don't know what the average is, probably around 42 or thereabouts. But there's going to be a bloodbath in the midterms. It is going to be devastating. It's going to be just like the Tea Party wave of 2010, if not worse, if he doesn't deliver. And he's not showing signs that he's going to deliver. Again, if they are to do anything, it would either be pause, uh, continue the extension, continue the pause on student loan payments, or maybe $10,000. I highly doubt they'd get rid of $50,000. I highly doubt they'd abolish it completely. But it is a layup. It is a no-brainer. Now, why wouldn't he do it? It's either ideological. He thinks, I'm just not in favor of doing that because people need to, you know, what do you say? I have no empathy for this generation. It could be an ideological reason why he doesn't want to do it, or... Perhaps it has something to do with his donors and he's serving his donors over the needs of the people and maybe there are some donors who are diametrically opposed to the American people and they say, do, don't you dare abolish that student loan debt. I don't know why he doesn't do it, but he should do it. It's obvious. And now you have a poll that clearly shows you're going to do better in the next election if you do it. If this is about self-preservation at all, and by the way, make no mistake, if he does do any action on student loan debt from here on out, it's going to be simply for, for self-preservation. For him and the Democrats. But it's, it's the easiest thing in the world. It's such a layup. He could do it through executive order, guys. Uh, the 1965 Higher Education Act gives the Secretary of Education the ability, if they want, to wipe that debt slate clean. He could do it with the stroke of a pen. He could do it with an executive order, and he's not doing it. He could legalize marijuana with the stroke of a pen. He's not doing it. There are a number of things he could do right now 
right now that would improve his approval rating colossally, and he's just not doing it. He's just not doing it. How much more evidence do you need? By the way, this isn't the only poll that I've seen with these results. I've seen other, or at least uh, anecdotal stories and articles talking about how some very high percentage of black voters is like, I I'm not going to vote if they don't abolish my student loan debt or if they don't take action on student loan debt. So this is a consistent theme. And again, hear me now, quote me later, you go look at mainstream media and see how many of them are talking about this. My guess is even on MSNBC, they're not talking about this. So you get like, the conventional wisdom is the opposite position and people are brainwashed into thinking it's obvious. And then meanwhile, here we are actually following the data and talking about it and credit to print media for running the articles. And it's, it's, it's all going to fall on deaf ears. I don't even know if anybody's advising Joe Biden to do the right thing on this, but it'd be insane if nobody was. It's time for the Hail Mary passes, man. If you don't want to get obliterated, you got to do these things. You have no choice. And forget about just from the, from the political perspective of like the horse race and who's going to win. Do it because it's the right thing to do. Why, I mean, high school is free. Why shouldn't college be free too? Why shouldn't it be free? And anybody who fear mongers over the idea, like it's a crazy idea. Okay, well then why don't you want um, high school to make people deeply in debt? If you're going to be consistent about, you know, oh, why are you giving people free stuff? Then why aren't you also against our public high school system? Don't answer that because maybe some people actually are <laughs> against our public high school system. But to me, this is just the basics. If somebody's trying to make a better life and get decent wages and get ahead, you got to go to college. And a lot of people, you know, they just can't afford it and they go deeply in debt. And it's a terrible system. By the time you get out into the real world, you're already way behind because you owe so much money. It is not a just system. It's not a fair system. It's a terrible system. God, and it would help so many people. Anyway, look, there there you have it. I mean, this is... What we're seeing here is a very clear answer as to what would help the Democrats and what would help the American people. And my guess is it'll be ignored. For the love of God, I'm begging the Biden administration, do something. Eliminate it. Just eliminate that student debt. That alone is such a powerful argument. It would be so easy for people to say, oh, of course, I'm voting for the lesser evil because that lesser evil is super less <laughs> of an evil if Biden eliminates student loan debt. Because that's something that every progressive can hang their hat on and say, at least he did that. At least he did that. You got to add to that list, man. Right now, that list is not too many things long. It's just not. Pulling out of Afghanistan is on that list, but then he sanctioned Afghanistan and now babies are starving to death. So any, anything he gets credit for, now he, don't, he took away with a sanctions regime that's even tougher than the war itself. Raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour for every federal contractor and federal employee. That's something that's on that list. Right to repairs on that list. But you got to build on that list, dog. You have to do it. You can't make people feel like the lesser evil is only 2% less evil. Because then nobody's going to want to vote. And that's exactly what we're seeing. So actually do something good for once. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.